Alex Pereira dominated kickboxing. And now Pereira going for the... Oh! What a leaping knee! Starched Adesanya. Oh! Conquered two divisions in glory. Just keep with the hands like that. And became the promotion's pound-for-pound -pound king. Oh! Recently, he has burst onto the UFC scene. Speaking to it, all the clinch and the grab... Oh! And made it all the way to a title shot in the blink of an eye. Good because he's... Oh! Oh! That's That's it. That's it. Today we recall Pereira's knockout-infused career in a striking world, as the Brazilian prepares for a crack at the premier championship belt in MMA. Oh! Alex was born in the favelas near the large city of Sao Paulo. At the age of 12, the kid dropped out of school and was forced to plug away in a tire shop. He was drinking Brazilian rum with co-workers on a daily basis. And over the long run, this habit developed into a full-blown addiction. Luckily, at 21 years old, Pereira first stepped foot in the gym and decided to finally change his life. Alex became hooked on kickboxing instantly and went on to have success as an amateur. Moreover, the tendency to end fights in spectacular fashion granted him the nickname Poetan, which stands for Hand of Stone. Having gained experience, the 25-year-old talent got an opportunity to challenge the It's Showtime League kingpin, Jason Wilness, who would defeat Adesanya in the future. Brazenly marching forward, Alex walked into punishing body shots twice, falling to the canvas each time. At the end of the second round, he got hit with a crippling low kick and couldn't continue. A chance at redemption came against a tough compatriot, Cesar Almeida, in Brazil. The fighters pleased the audience with ferocious exchanges. Pereira proved to be more accurate. By the end of 15 minutes, Poatan took a unanimous decision and the national championship. On the way home, the coaches assured the up-and-comer of his bright prospects in combat sports. But in order to realize such potential, rehabilitation and quitting alcohol for good was necessary. Extremely motivated, the rising hotshot would not touch the devil's water ever again. In August 2013, Pereira annihilated Matias Adaro. <laughs> The stubborn opponent got back to the feet, so the Brazilian had to beat him down against the ropes. In the second encounter with Almeida, the rival slugged it out, what'd you say about my mom style? Poetan was the first to fatigue, seeding the initiative, and suffered defeat by decision. Despite the failure, in 2014, Alex received an invitation to perform at the Glory Contender Tournament. The fellow competitor in the semifinal was Dustin Jacoby, who is currently in the top 15 of the UFC light heavyweight division. Pereira was fast, precise, and diverse in his offense. Three three-minute rounds. Spin the power. Oh. At the end of the second minute, Alex caught the counterpart with a left. Oh, big shot from Pereira. Jacoby could be hurt. And later finished him with the same blow. Just keep hunting with the hands like that. Shot from Pereira drops Dustin Jacoby. The devastating lead hook would soon become a nightmare for anyone unlucky enough to face the Brazilian in the ring. Just keep hunting with the hands, like that. In the finale, Pereira faced Sahak Parparian, who held a W over the now famous Andrew Tate. Alex started off with a signature knee, constantly pinning the opponent against the ropes and throwing long combinations. 
And right away, Carrera starts to tee off. There was a bumps and bruises you didn't feel while your adrenaline was going. Carrera. Carrera teeing off to the body. Upstairs. A blind date with the canvas was only a matter of time. Title fight. Very impressive. But down he goes. Alex Carrera. But in the second frame, Poetan just didn't look himself. Parparian loosened up and began to back the adversary into a corner. Four rounds. Moving forward is Paparian. In the third, Alex finally awakened and did enough to earn a majority decision victory. And we will go to the judge's scorecard. It was soon announced that Pereira would be one of the eight participants in a major Grand Prix to determine Glory's first middleweight overlord. In the quarterfinal, he squared off against Artem Levin, a multiple-time Thai boxing world champion with a wealth of experience. The Brazilian couldn't find the target. Two more times. Do you start to maybe take the... Had trouble in open space. As well as in close quarters. High and then follows it up. He's just missed with a lot of hooks. Yeah. What is and eventually lost on the scorecards. Frustrated by this shortcoming, Alex returned to Sao Paulo and got back to form with two spectacular victories. His next step was to perform in glory in 2015. In the semi-final of the contender tournament, opposite an old acquaintance, Jason Wilness, things went south for Pereira right away. Wilness, the youngest fighter in this tournament, but he has already been facing top competition. After the fall, he raised the level of aggression and outmatched the rival in certain moments. Staying kind of a, a flat line. Oh, nice. uh, Wilness pretty much winning this fight, but Pereira oh. raged back. Pereira mixing. In the third round, Alex even avenged the knockdown. San Diego. And he's by Pereira, left hook drops Wilness! But Wilness was more efficient, landed more strikes, and hardly took a break. Teeing off now on Pereira. High connect rate, nice combination again used by Pereira, but not a lot of pop with those as Wilness now. So he came out victorious. <sighs> Poetan spent the next two years outside glory, traveling between Brazil and China. In the third confrontation with Cesar Almeida, Alex was throwing spinning back kicks. Breaking through the guard with powerful flurries and sent the counterpart to the floor twice. This was more than enough to regain the WGP championship. A successful title defense against Junior Alpha followed. De novo, ó. Vai pra cima. Aí trabalha o cruzado de direita. Na linha de cintura! Sentiu! Jogou a toalha! Jogou a toalha, fim! In China, the Brazilian first encountered Israel Adesanya, who split the attention between MMA and kickboxing. They engaged in a two-way shootout. Pereira quickly realized that a highly technical battle wasn't in his best interests. So he relied on bursts of aggression and landed heavy several times. In the final round, Izzy was chaining together the precise combos and shifting off the center line. Poetan was headhunting with vicious intent. Oh. This pattern stayed the same until the final bell. The controversial decision was in favor of the Brazilian. This stuck in Israel's head, and a year later, he got a rematch, going to the enemy's territory. Pereira began by advancing assertively, although his precision was lacking. He attempted to lure the opponent into a brawl. Style Bender didn't take the bait, increased the pace in the second round, and started to chip away even harder. Adesanya stunned Alex with one of his attacks. 
but couldn't put him away. All signs pointed to a finish in the third for Izzy. Nevertheless, things turned out not the way that everyone expected. Poetan's short left hook caused a savage crash. The first and only one in Stylebender's career to this day. It is worth noting that between two Adesanya bouts, Pereira suffered a technical knockout loss at the hands of the Ukrainian Artur Kishenka. In October 2015, still actively competing in the ring, the 28-year-old kickboxer decided to undertake MMA. At Jungle Fight 82, the undefeated Kemwell Otoni stood in the way. From the outset, Pereira's grappling skills were put to the test. He survived on the bottom, coming up with unexpected sweeps and even attempting an armbar, but lost the position battle nonetheless. In the second round, Alex worked in his element, and yet the rival's head was firm as a brick. Otoni even managed to bite back and go punch for punch with Poetan. By the third round, both guys were huffing and puffing. Kemwell decided to take the path of least resistance, took the action to the floor, and swiftly secured a rear naked choke. Over the next six months, the Brazilian would redeem himself with two scraps in Jungle Fight. A journeyman named Marcelo Cruz got it first. Alex's sledgehammer fists shattered the poor fellow to pieces. The 6-0 Marcus Vinicius tasted pain and agony as well. Mixed martial arts remained an enticing option, but victories over Adesanya changed everything. Pereira solidified his place in the world rankings and was brought in by glory for a four-man contender tournament. And so, MMA had to wait four more years. In the semi-final, Poetan collided with the durable Burim Rama, who had never been dropped. Alex launched a mighty uppercut in the opening seconds. Rama in the black gloves, Pereira. Even though Rama tried to answer back, not quite as massive. It was just a spit in the sea of received blows. From Pereira, knockout victory over Israel Adesanya, one of the best middleweights in the world. And that left. Hanging against the ropes, he's on the verge of getting knocked out if he doesn't. Oh, that knee may have done it! When he collapsed to the canvas for the third time, the referee waved off the beating. Survived the fight. Because he doesn't have much output, he keeps eating punches. And he goes down again, and that's... In the finale, Pereira was set to confront the Dutchman Yusri Belgaroy. Accustomed to crushing everyone with size and power, Alex was not ready for the adversary's game plan. Belgari would close the distance with a series of punches and attack from different angles. Not just heavily rely on his punches. Nice job. Straight right hand connects again to Pereira, and then a left hook from Belgari. Poetan tried to be creative. And all of a sudden, one punch or one kick's all it takes. It worked occasionally. And there's that one punch, a right hand, Belgari says it. Even so, such efforts were not enough to secure the W. Belgari! The Brazilian flew back home in an attempt to get the mojo back. <sighs> that was so fast. With nine years of experience, in October 2017, the 30-year-old Pereira signed a contract to dispute the glory middleweight throne against Simon Marcus, who held wins over Adesanya and Artem Levin. Poetan was applying pressure, trying to land a patented left hook. 
Simon's kicks are going to do. It's going to make Pereira second. What connected, however, was an unexpected right cross. Simon backed against the ropes, but then throws a body kick. And down goes Marcus. That is a knockdown. The champ is down. Three. Marcus got up and slowed down noticeably, but still held on until the bell and fought back. And an overhand right from Simon Marcus and Pereira now. That overhand right is thrown it a few times in this round. Oh, and a right hand. A good. This is the fifth and final round and a flying knee as Pereira comes out smoking. And he just threw a high kick off of that and landed a left hook. And another knee from Pereira and a couple of punches. And Simon Marcus in real. And that is it. By the end of five rounds, Alex has done enough to deserve the nod and finally snatched the crown of the most prestigious kickboxing organization. As it turned out, this was the only inception of his celebrated violent run through the kickboxing elite. Talent operation. Yo, team. In two months, the Brazilian made the first defense against Belgaroi, whom he had lost to eight months prior. Poetan stepped on the gas right away. Belgaroi in front of his home fans. Here we Yet the Dutchman outsmarted him again. Five inches. Fell in love with kickboxing and made the switch. Turns out it was a very... Belgaroi sticking and moving inside, outside. Oh, he's hit. For any good offense by the champion, the challenger had a commensurate response. Good combination for Belgaroi. He's putting on the pressure now. Following two rounds of action, Alex was behind on the judges' scorecards with just a couple meaningful blows. Ropes. And there's another one. And Belgaroi looked like he almost went down. He's Belgaroi was calmly cruising to victory. Nice jab. Before overconfidence became his demise. Goes Belgaroi. He almost went down. Can Pereira close the show? Belgaroi going to be given an eight count. Subsequent to a rapid assault, only the ropes saved the challenger from falling. The referee paused the bout, and the doctor stopped it entirely due to a gruesome cut. Glory middleweight champion of the world! The rubber match took place in 2018 at the Glory 55 event, held in New York. Pereira ate a powerful 1-2. And less than a minute later, answered with a cracking thump. A laser beam counter by the Brazilian sent shockwaves through Belgaroi's head, putting a decisive end to their trilogy. Alex expressed a desire to return to MMA and said yes to a fight in Dana White's Contender Series, but Glory vetoed such a venture. A rematch with Simon Marcus was next on the list. Pereira controlled the range effortlessly, peppering the opponent with strikes. With a high kick to a left hook. When clinched up, the champion used knees. Simon got caught with a left and exploded with combinations on the exit. For the title. There's punches and knees coming. His approach resulted in a knockdown. Backwards a little bit more, but I think he's hurt. That left kick landed. And now Simon Burns. Oh, and he got caught with a left hook. What a big Although Marcus somehow made it to the bell, forward and he makes it to the end of the round. A win was off the table. Following three successful defenses, Alex decided to move up to light heavyweight and claim a second gold. He also stated that he would leave for MMA as soon as the contract expired. Glory's management got to work and quickly re-signed their 187-pound king. The new agreement included generous financial compensation and an opportunity to compete in mixed martial arts. The next defense was against Jason Wilness, who had beaten Alex twice up to that point. Now, however, the Dutchman had to deal with an experienced, seasoned warrior. Getting him that TKO finish. Oh, high kick! Wow! Alex Pereira! My goodness! And he's busted Will! The challenger recovered from being dropped, but not for long. Power that Pereira had. And now Pereira go for the finish! What a leapy knee! Down twice! It's over! A 
jumping switch knee was the last thing Wilna saw before the final fall. A knockout of the year contender helped the Brazilian to get back at his arch nemesis and solidify the spot in the top 10 pound for pound ranking. Dominance personified, Alex deserved a crack at the second belt. While Artem Vahitov was dealing with a hand injury, Glory decided to crown an interim light heavyweight king in an intriguing clash between the middleweight supreme ruler and the second ranked Donaghy Abena. Even in a division above, Pereira looked bigger and more powerful than his opponent. He constantly troubled the Surinamese with a right high kick, left hook combination. Abena was patient, looking for chances and occasionally throwing heat. Oh, Pereira may be hurt here. In the third frame, Alex got the knees going, and so the fun began. He's hurt. Abena's hurt. Got him with a left hook. Abena eats a knee now, trying to hold on. As soon as Donaghy came to his senses, Poitain scored another brutal finish. A signature left hook flattened the contender, and Alex became the first double champ in glory history. Alex Poetan Pereira! With Vahidov on the sidelines, the 187 pound champ defended his status from the number one contender, heir to rule Byrak. Pereira charged forward as soon as the bell sounded. Five rounds for the middleweight champion. Byrak failed to hamper the onslaught, absorbing knees against the ropes. He vows not to. He's just got sharp eyes, but by Rack's hurt. Yeah, that, that wobbled by Rack. He's backed up against the rope. Look at these. Just a few seconds before the break, Poitain blasted the supernatural punch again. No, his nose is already bleeding. Left hook right at the bell. And that is it. Hands of stone. This time, the Brazilian masked the tight left hook behind a straight right to the body. All doubts about the legitimacy of the Stone Hand nickname were erased forever. Oh, his nose is already bleeding. Left hook. Tired of waiting for Vahitov, Pereira decided to compete in MMA. He signed with LFA to avoid exclusive UFC contract limitations and be able to perform in kickboxing. Alex spent a training camp with Glover Teixeira and said out loud that his main goal was to enter the ultimate promotion and take Adesanya's throne. He got the main event slot and Thomas Powell with a 4-4 record as the opponent. Pereira did not play with the prey, pulling out the trump cards right away. Strange to be in right there. I think right that body kick hurt him. And now in knee oh, and Pereira. This is a dead. Oh, the knee floor. Powell tried to find safety wrestling, invited Poitain to the ground, but the deadly left chased him down nonetheless. Oh, oh. Kick over Whoa. and out. Powell wouldn't regain consciousness for five minutes. Oh. The long-awaited scrap with Vahidov for the undisputed light heavyweight gold took place at Glory 77 in January 2021. The Russian did well with low kicks. And regularly found the mark with the hands. This fight started out as almost even money. But it doing good. Not eating any of those big knees and they turn this fight on. You're thinking, is he tired? Is he the interim champion gradually gained momentum, showing more activity, throwing volume, and connecting. When you throw your low kick, you get those drops his right hand one inch. Those hooks are coming in. I guess the last two rounds. Oh, again, and that forced Vahi to hold the gold around his waist. Has it lost it? Hey. By the end of five rounds, a very close decision went to Pereira, who finally managed to unify two undisputed titles. Alex Pereira. Fast forward seven months, the rematch took place. By that moment, Alex had already vacated the middleweight pedestal, signed a contract with the UFC, and decided to leave glory. Poetan took off well, but gave up the initiative. Hey. 
Stick. He was starting to come out now. Oh, good left hook. That changes the entire complexion of this spike. Spinning. Pereira having fun there. Maybe a little too much fun. I'm not sure oh. how close this fight. Eventually, a point deduction for constant stalling in the clinch made the difference. Well, looks can be deceiving, Joe, but Pereira... When the fifth round began, the Brazilian was losing three out of five scorecards and ran out of time to change the situation. And, and then a third time by... 30 seconds left. Oh! Right, oh. right hand! Oh. And new light heavyweight champion of the world! Pereira said goodbye to kickboxing and flew to the United States to prepare for his UFC debut opposite Andreas Michalidis with a 13-4 record. The fans were looking forward to the arrival of one of the best strikers in the world. But in the first round, they were left with more questions than answers. Michalidis turned the fight into a hugging contest. Excellent opening for this fight. Yeah, look at this. Clinching by hook or by crook and sticking to the enemy like glue. He got a big old bruise on his left eye. After the intermission, Alex established the distance and made the crowd jump out of their seats. Honestly, that's what I was speaking to with all the clinch and the grab. Oh! A flying switch knee, the one that smoked Wilness, was now on display for the MMA audience. Do it all the clinch and the grab. Oh! Four months later, Pereira shared the octagon with Bruno Silva, who burst onto the scene with three knockouts in a row. Oh, went high with that one. Oh, 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 oh. Riding a seven-fight win streak. Silva looked better at the beginning. Oh, 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 oh. he's gotta be. He was finding the openings and even secured a takedown. And he gets it. Yet, Alex gradually got the ball rolling and took control of the bout. Knee up top. Cut eight. Oh, big right. Cracked a couple times there by Silva. There's that flying knee, almost caught him. In the tie-breaking third round, the more skilled Pereira evaded incoming attacks with ease and clipped the foe with a hook. Bruno looked wobbly, but managed to withstand the might of the counterpart's best weapon. Elbow on the break, ripping the body in an uppercut. Silva showing some toughness, but he's getting teed off. Silva is right. covering up, and Pineda is foot on the gas pedal. Oh my God! Silva's punching back. Silva tried to stage the last assault. Land some bombs of his own. Bruno Silva only to be punished by an extra uppercut. I like the hard roll here in the final 15 seconds. Oh, he just broke his Trying to find the finishing touch now, to the body. Poetan saw the scorecards for the first time in his MMA career and proved that he belonged on the UFC roster. Still, many people doubted the kickboxer's chances against the top 10 guys. In July of 2022, Pereira was scheduled to face Sean Strickland, a top four contender with six straight wins. Sean could entertain with the mic too. Who's the best striker on stage? That man was the one that slept that man, so, you know, next to me, next to me, probably Alex. I mean, what was it like, 2-0 against Izzy? Izzy, what was it, 2-0? If you win this fight, when we fight, I knock you out, I'm gonna do a TikTok dance over your grave. Oh, fuck it. Look at this grown-ass man on fucking TikTok. Maybe that's the problem, bro. And the you don't want this guy's a champion. Do something about you it. You don't want this guy's a do champion. Do something about it then. Sean Strickland counters in white. In the cage, though, there was no room for fun. It would be good because he's... Strickland elected to engage with one of the world's best strikers on the feet and paid for it in the first round. Good because he's... Poatan tricked his man into lowering the guard with a feint, launching a cheating left hook and landed a right cross to make matters worse. That same night, Adesanya would make his fifth successful title defense. We know who's next, that Poatan, Poha. Trust me, next time I put you on skates, you're gonna get left frozen like Elsa. I'll leave it at that. Just a few years ago, a standout kickboxer came to the UFC and ascended to the top of the mountain. 
an even more accomplished striker followed in his footsteps. Soon they will meet face to face for the third time, and we will witness a unique confrontation that spans across two combat sports. Alex Pereira left his footprint in kickboxing history, and now he is ready to take over new battlegrounds. His nose is already bleeding. If you enjoyed this video, throw a left hook to the like button, subscribe to our channel, and vote for sport. Oh, over Whoa. and out. That's the power. Holy.